No one's gonna marry you, Harnam. Like you have a beard. Mm. No one's gonna date you, Harnam. You have a beard. No one's gonna be your boyfriend, Harnam. You have a beard. You are not a preference to a lot of men. And then I'll get um, like really feminine men message me, but that's not who I'm attracted to, mm -hmm. Hannah. I like really masculine men because I am I am very soft. Uh, I'm so different to what you see like on TV. You know, on TV. Well, I've never seen you on TV. I've been mean, not, but no, generally you'll see. Oh, she's strong. She's you know what she's talking about is very powerful. Whatever people say, but then at home I'm very quiet. You know, I'm I'm very feminine. I'm very soft. People don't get to see that side of me. You know. Um, but no, it has been difficult. Where I wanted to be married and have kids, I would never be a single mom. That's not what I've ever wanted. Yo, so we back in here for another. <laughs> we in here for another edition of F Your Mother. Now, I feel this woman. I'm not even going front like I don't. She seems. She actually seems pretty. I don't know how she let her beard grow like massive like that i can't i'm a man and i can't even grow a goddamn beard like that this is a travesty <laughs> not a tragedy this is a travesty it, it, what does she use it and it's only on select parts like right here and you see the mud my shit don't even connect i i've messed up and i had to shave the mustache under my nose right shave it away so it grow back all the same it's been six months and it still ain't even whatever hernan is using I need to get some of that. What I will say is, it's amazing how women want concessions for them. They don't even make concessions for us. If she didn't have that big woolly mammoth beard, she wouldn't be choosing up on dudes that genuinely liked her. She Muslim, but she probably still would be going for the scumbags, the ISIS dudes. So like, my heart bleeds for her, but um, uh, the only advice I got, Hernan, I don't know where you're from. You sound like you're British, but you're Arab uh, or you're a Sikh. Uh, come to America. The trans movement is, look it, you'll get a man that really likes women and men. Like, you'll get you, like, the LGBT movement here in America is, is, is a, it's a steam truck. It's full steam ahead. It, it, it's, it, Putin hates us because of it. <laughs> now, I'm straight, and I don't want you for none. Unless you got a big ass, I probably hit it from the back. I don't have to look at your face. What I will say is, like, come to America. Get your, get your citizen paperwork up go get your passport if you ain't got one come over to america i'm telling you you go get go to la doctor whoever is gonna shave that off your face lift your face up i don't know i don't know what is going on like you need to you got a hormonal imbalance we got shit for that in america you get some medicine all that'll go away some there ain't nothing that some near couldn't take down right you just in the wrong place i don't know if she's in afghanistan i don't know if she's in part of the middle east I don't know where she's at. I don't know if she's in the UK, but come to America, you will not have a shortage of suitors and it'll be dudes that you like because we got weird people here that men that like women that look like men. So I, that's the only advice I got other than that. Stop crying because over in those countries, they don't want men. I mean, they probably take them, but after hours, right? After dark. <laughs> Everybody living a lie over there. In any event, if you like this episode, subscribe, turn the notification on, like, comment, and share, and I'm out. No one's